Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this congregational update and devotion. I want to start with John 1, beginning with the 38th verse. When Jesus turned and saw them following him, he said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translates teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. If you continue on reading in chapter 1, it's just a little bit later that Philip invites his brother to come and see Jesus. This text has me thinking about our, our call to invite people to come and see. To come and see what's happening here at Trinity Lutheran, that even in the midst of this pandemic, we are trying to provide a spot, an oasis, as it were, where people can sit back, hear about God's grace and mercy, breathe just a bit, and center themselves on Jesus Christ. It's probably one of the deepest needs these days. There's a lot of anxiety. There's anxiety over this virus. There's anxiety over plans of the fall. There's anxieties for teachers and parents and administrators. There's anxieties in the medical community. You name it, anxiety is there. An invitation to come and see the rest, the grace, and the mercy that can come through a deep relationship with Jesus Christ. If you are finding rest and peace in the midst of what we're doing with devotions and worship, I invite you to reach out to friends, to family, to say, come and see. It's really easy uh, on Facebook to invite people to come and see, to join us for our webcasts, live streaming Sunday morning at 8.30, or to invite people to tune in to 12.70 at 8.30 on Sunday mornings. The sermons can be found on our website each week. We're gifted with Jim Lewis, who takes the time after every worship service to post the sermon of the day. Come and see. Come and see God's grace. So what's going on? Well, I want to let you know that not this Sunday, but next Sunday and then the following Wednesday, we're going to be doing a blessing for all educators. Teachers, administrators, school board members, staff that work in schools. If you are a professor that's working at one of the colleges or universities, come. Come receive a word of blessing. We'll bless backpacks. We've got a special little card for you to hold for kids. It's a clip to go on a backpack, um, but come. We want to share a prayer of blessing over you in the midst of this anxiety. I also want to let you know that on August 30th, following the 10 o'clock worship, we will have a special congregational meeting outside on the lawn. That meeting will be to vote on the purchase and installation of de-stratification fans for the sanctuary and the community center. So what are de-stratification fans? Well, they're a kind of fan, they look like an upside down pear that can take the air that's at the top of um, our sanctuary or the community center, right? Really high ceilings and push it back down to the floor. The cost is about $39,000. Julie has been hard at work this week and has applied for a grant, so that's one possible source of funding. We also have a special reserve fund that has the funds in it that could cover this purchase, but it's your decision as members of this congregation. You'll be able to ask questions, you'll be able to learn more, um, but August 30th, Following the 10 o'clock worship outside on the lawn, we'll have a special congregational meeting. I really hope that um, you can make it a priority to be there, to be part of that conversation. I want to also share with you that in this coming week, um, Pastor Lee, Heather Bauman, Gracia Johnson and I will be sitting down Gracia has been doing a lot of hard work already planning the fall programming, um, but we're going to think even deeper about both the programming, about small group work with Heather, about what will worship services <clears throat> look like, how do we plan a better online presence 
heading into the fall just in case um, everything gets shut down and for the sake of people who still are not comfortable coming in and worshiping inside. I want you to know that we're keeping all of those things in mind. We're trying to figure out how to provide options for you, members of our congregation, while at the same time uh, making sure that we're faithful, making sure that we're keeping people safe, making sure that we're providing the spiritual resources that people need in these difficult times. The last thing that I would say, uh, if you're experiencing a lot of anxiety, uh, if these are really uncertain times for you, know that Pastor Lee and I are available. We'd be glad to talk over the phone, through Zoom, face to face out in the grass if you'd want, um, but we're here. We're here to pray for you. If that's not what you need, um, I hope that you can find a few minutes each day to just sit back quietly, to breathe, to invite Jesus to be present by the power of the Holy Spirit with you, to calm your anxieties, to walk with you, and to give you peace. Well, God bless from Trinity. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon.